Following the story of a horrific hit and run crash during a police chase, the driver bailing out of the car window and getting captured by police. But well, today in court, that woman charged with murder. Listen to the evidence against her. Dave Llewellyn is here right now with a look at what happened in that courtroom today. Just a heartbreaking case for the family. Sounds like it. College student Asia Crawford. They had to watch as the prosecutor played the disturbing video footage of the chase that led to their daughter's death. The judge ordered Alyssa Verbecki to stand trial for the crash that killed Crawford, who was 19 and injured her 15 year old brother. Prosecutors played video from August 5th showing Warren police chasing her. Uh, Verbecki, they say, was speeding the suspect's car, slammed into Crawford's car near Seven Mile and Shaner on Detroit's east side. The footage shows a woman who the prosecutor says is Verbecki climbing out the car window right before police arrest her as she tries to scale a fence. She eventually tired out, fell to the side, I jumped over the fence and placed her in handcuffs. That was one of six police officers testifying today. Verbecki is also accused of driving under the influence of drugs. Police say they found crack cocaine, a pipe, and a case for syringes in her car. Now, the toxicology report indicated she had THC in her system. That's the active ingredient in marijuana. The judge set Verbecki's cash bond at $500,000, and she's expected back in court from uh, one week from today. I bet hard for both oh. of those families dealing with that yeah, for sure and to watch situation. the video and and to see uh, all that took place yeah got to be so tough yeah very tough